is part of a uh, project for public history class. We examine political executions throughout history, especially in uh, recent events in the Middle East. We examine political executions and how they have a deeper message behind them and how that message is portrayed uh, through the many ways they are carried out. And in what this manner. is our own interpretation of one of the political executions. Uh, it's meant to be satirical and lighthearted. If you would like more information on the project, you can visit our website where you will find many other political executions, information on them, uh, both notable and obscure. Execution, is your uh, axe ready? Is it sharpened? I think it's, I think it's ready. Looks good. <laughs> good to me. Hear ye, hear ye! Ladies and gentlemen, today one of the most famous traitors to the crown will meet his maker. You will all be witness to the execution of Sir Walter Raleigh. Heed this warning, all you dissenters. Proceed to the execution site. Any last words? I have prepared a speech. I thank I, my God, heartily, that he hath brought me into the light to die, and not suffered me to die in the dark tower of the prison, where I have suffered a great deal of adversity and a long sickness. And I thank God that my fever hath not taken me at this time, as I prayed God it might not. There are two main points of suspicion that His Majesty hath conceived against me, wherein His Majesty cannot be satisfied, which I desire to clear and resolve you in. One is that His Majesty hath been informed that I have some plot with France, and I assure you I have not. The second suspicion is that His Majesty hath been informed that I should speak dishonorably and disloyally of him. But in this I speak now, what have I to do with kings? I have nothing to do with them, neither do I fear them. I have now to do with God. Therefore, as I hope to be saved at the last day, I never spoke dishonorably, disloyally, nor dishonestly of the king. Neither have I ever, in all my life, a thought of ill against his majesty. I will speak but a word or two more, because I will not trouble Mr. Sheriff for so long. There was a report spread that I should rejoice at the death of Lord Essex, and that I should take tobacco in his presence, when, as I protest, I shed tears at his death, though I was though the contrary faction, and at the time of his death I was all the while in the armory, and further end where I could not but see him. And now I entreat you all to join me in prayer, that the great God of heaven, who I have grievously offended, been a, being a man full of vanity, and having lived a sinful life in all sinful callings, having being a soldier, a captain, a sea captain, and a courtier, which are all places of wickedness and vice, that God, I say, would forgive me, cast away my sins from me, and receive me into everlasting life. So I take my leave of you all, making my peace with God. interpretation of the political execution of Walter Raleigh. He was executed for conspiring to deprive the king of his kingdom and allowing foreign enemies to invade. Oh, I almost forgot. We have another one who will be executed today. Would you like to uh, say your name and why you're here, sir? I am Guy Fox. I am here to be executed for treason. And I, unlike Raleigh, tried to blow up Parliament.